Ossifier here, and recently I was on the lookout for some desktop speakers, but not just any desktop speakers. I wanted to find ones that are actually really good, and luckily enough, a company contacted me and they sent me some of their speakers, and these ones are called the Arian Legacies Deep Sonar 300s, and I believe that they're probably one of the best desktop speakers under $100, so find out why in this review. So the setup of these speakers was actually not that hard. I took a couple look at the instruction manual, plugged some cables in, and I was basically good to go in under 15 minutes. So for the average consumer, this is going to be very easy and a very simple process, and you should be able to set this whole thing right up in under half an hour for sure. But moving on, I would like to talk about the control box, which is actually a pretty unique feature that I like about these speakers, because for 100 bucks, you really don't see control boxes like this. You usually see like a dongle that you're allowed to control the volume and the power, but with the Arian Legacy Deep Sonar 300s, you get a full-blown control box. It's no equalizer, but then again, this is for the average consumer, but you do get a little bit more control. You get bass and treble, volume, power, and as well, you could change the source. So I really like this control box, um, it has some other features like you could plug in um, a USB to charge your phone as well as a headset and you could also plug in a 3.5mm headphone jack to play directly from your phone as long as you change the source. And then once you change the source, the color will turn from blue to red. So little things like this I really do appreciate, especially coming from speakers only under 100 bucks. But now I want to move on to the subwoofer, which I think is the main attraction of these speakers, basically because it has some really great bass, and I wasn't really expecting it, especially from speakers that are only 100 bucks. but what can I say, these speakers have amazing bass. If I were to turn up the bass all the way on the control box, you could really tell and feel how good the bass is with these speakers. It's super punchy and super deep, and you could really appreciate it once you listen to it which I will show you guys in a sound quality test coming up soon. So now moving on to the satellites of the speaker system, which is basically going to deliver most of the sound that you're going to be hearing from the Arian Legacies. So my first impressions of the satellites were that they are pretty light and I wasn't really expecting it so I felt that it was cheap, but once I heard the sound, um, it really just blew me away because these sound really really great and they can get super loud. I've almost never turned the speaker system all the way up because it can get really really loud guys. I wasn't really expecting this from uh, speakers this small. I mean they're medium sized but I wasn't really expecting that much great of sound coming out of these speakers. I mean they're great for pretty much whatever you are doing. Um, gaming, music, uh, wh whatever you're listening to these really sound great and I wasn't really expecting it. And um, the sound quality that you get from these speakers is worth more than $100, and that's really my opinion on these things. But um, why don't you guys go listen to it for yourself. I'll give you a quick sound test. I mean, this isn't really um, a really great sound test because it's coming from my camera's mic, but um, hopefully you could get a glimpse of what these sound like. So music isn't the only thing that these speakers work great with, they're also good at gaming. And as soon as I saw on Amazon that these were labeled as gaming speakers, I definitely had to go try them out and I gotta say I was super impressed with their gaming sound performance because I usually use my Logitech headset but as soon as I got these speakers and I tried gaming on them, I really started using this speaker system a lot more for when I play games and I gotta say they're pretty impressive. And um, here's a little clip of me playing some Left 4 Dead 2 with this speaker system.
So anyways guys, that's basically it for this video, and I really enjoyed my time using the Arian Legacy Deep Sonar 300 speakers so far. It's a mouthful, but still, these are some amazing speakers that I do recommend people buying if they don't want to break the bank, but still want great all-around speakers. The really the only cons are with these speakers that it has a lot of cables, so you're going to need a lot of cable ties to clean up the setup, and um, it just feel a bit cheap with the satellites because they are a bit light and the buttons on the control box are a bit stiff but they are loosening up the more I use them but other than that these speakers are great and I would recommend people uh, to buy them and I'll leave links down below to the speakers if you want to go check them out but anyways guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review